Saudi Arabia is working on a huge metro project, one of the biggest in the world. This metro, called the Riyadh Metro, stretches 109 miles through a desert city and costs $22.5 billion. It's an impressive engineering achievement. But there's more to it than just building a big metro. It's also making a statement that Saudi Arabia is forward-thinking and modern. For the past decade, in utilizing its own resources to create another level of innovation, the country's legacy stands firm over time even when new leaders come into power. Now, Saudi Arabia is getting ready to host two major global events. These events will bring in money, tourists, and give the country a more influential role on the world stage. It's a great chance for Saudi Arabia to change its economy and work on improving how it's seen in terms of human rights around the world. However, there is a lot of pressure to finish this huge metro project on time, especially since it's already very late. This is Saudi Arabia's challenge to complete the metro that could open new doors for the country. But before we get into the details of this multi-billion dollar project, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more shocking mega builds. So the Riyadh Metro Network is an impressive project with six lines, 85 stations and 109 miles of tracks all laid out across a city that rises from the sands. While other cities might take decades to build something this big in several stages, Saudi Arabia is doing it all in one go. This makes the Riyadh Metro one of the largest metro projects ever built in a single phase. Riyadh is a city that dreams big. Over the last 30 years, it has transformed dramatically. The city's look and feel have changed, as have the ways people live and interact. In the 1970s, Riyadh used the money from oil sales to grow and center its development around cars. Since then, a lot has changed. The city has expanded massively, the population has skyrocketed, women are now allowed to drive, and tourists from other countries are welcome. Despite these changes, Riyadh still loves its cars, partly because it's just too hot to walk around. But looking to the future, Cities that focus only on cars aren't cutting edge anymore. This is where the Riyadh Metro steps in, offering a glimpse into a more advanced future. It's not just any other metro, it's electric, driverless, and a sign of Saudi Arabia's commitment to innovation. The Riyadh Metro has been a key project for over 10 years, playing a vital role in Saudi Arabia's ambitious plans. The Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, aims to transform the capital into a global hub for business, aiming to double its population by 2030. Despite these ambitions, the international community remains cautious due to Saudi Arabia's history of isolation and human rights issues. For Saudi Arabia to boost its growth and change how the world sees it, hosting significant global events is a strategic move. The country has been chosen to host the World Expo 2030, expected to attract millions of visitors from over 100 countries. Additionally, it's a leading candidate to host the 2034 World Cup. These events will spotlight Riyadh, catalyzing billions in new construction projects, such as a proposed stadium in Qadiyya City, intended to be the country's new center of entertainment. With Riyadh's ongoing mega-projects, a reliable transportation network is essential. Without the metro linking these developments, they wouldn't be as effective or coherent. Therefore, the timely opening of the Riyadh metro is crucial for the success of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, underscoring its importance in the kingdom's future plans. Building a project as huge as the Riyadh metro is a massive challenge and doing it in the desert adds even more complexity. The desert climate is tough, with scorching heat, sandstorms and surprisingly cold winters. All these conditions mean that the materials used need to be carefully chosen to handle the changing temperatures. For the Riyadh Metro, 
Even the train cars needed special design features to cope with the extreme heat and sand. The construction teams had to adjust how they worked with concrete outdoors because it was drying too quickly in the intense heat. They used three huge machines to tunnel through 40% of the route under the city, navigating around existing buildings and utilities. Plus, there are laws to protect workers from the dangerous midday heat, restricting work hours. But the challenges weren't just about the climate and construction. The project faced other obstacles too. The former governor of Riyadh was arrested during the Crown Prince's 2017 anti-corruption campaign linked to the Metro project. The 2020 pandemic caused further troubles, disrupting supply chains worldwide. And in 2021, disputes over payments exceeding $1 billion led to some of the main contractors sending their staff home, adding to the hurdles that needed to be overcome to complete this monumental project. Delays in infrastructure projects are common worldwide. For example, it took nearly a century to complete New York City's Second Avenue subway. Similarly, the Riyadh Metro faced its delays. Initially planned to open in 2019, just five years after construction started, its opening date is now eagerly awaited, soon to be announced by the Royal Commission for Riyadh City. In projects of this scale, delays can be costly. But Saudi Arabia has substantial financial resources. The country's national oil company has been generating over $100 billion in net profits annually for the last few years. This wealth is channeled into the Public Investment Fund, a huge pool of money used to finance massive undertakings like the Riyadh Metro. Unlike other cities such as Dubai, which rely heavily on foreign investment for growth, Riyadh uses its own funds. The contracts for the Riyadh Metro, totaling $22.5 billion, were awarded in 2013, attracting bids from architecture, engineering and construction firms worldwide. Ultimately, over 30 international and local companies, along with numerous suppliers and subcontractors, were chosen to contribute to the Metro project. Notable among them was Zaha Hadid Architects, a high-profile firm. Architecture has long been linked with power, drawing architects to seek projects with influential clients like governments and state institutions, which have the resources for such grand ventures. Currently, many large-scale architecture and construction projects are initiated by the oil-rich Gulf states. These mega-projects can bring benefits to local populations, but they also aim to boost international tourism and enhance the country's global reputation. However, there's a concern such projects can sometimes be used by autocratic regimes to divert attention from human rights issues. For example, the 2022 World Cup in Qatar drew international attention due to labour practices in the region. Reports suggest thousands of migrant workers died over the past decade in Qatar, not all due to World Cup-related activities. The organising committee and FIFA acknowledged three work-related fatalities at World Cup stadium sites. Saudi Arabia, like many other countries, depends on migrant labour for construction projects. Experts worry about the potential for exploitation due to power imbalances and risks like heat stress, debt bondage and safety at construction sites. Requests for comments on labour protections for the Riyadh Metro project from the Royal Commission for Riyadh City went unanswered. While the Riyadh Metro may not be as flashy as Saudi Arabia's newer projects, like NEOM, a futuristic city being built in the desert, it's a crucial part of a broader plan to reshape the nation's future. Once the metro is operational, the next big task for Riyadh will be to encourage residents to leave their cars behind and embrace public transport. Whether this shift will occur is yet to be seen, but the infrastructure is set to facilitate this change. So what do you think? What does this all mean for Saudi Arabia? Will this new train change how people travel in Riyadh? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on world mega projects. See you in the next video.